The videos in this playlist have been skill builders focused on the Charleston. The Charleston is phase one of the game. Phase two of the game is when players pick and discard one tile at a time. Since this is a four player game, how can you practice picking and discarding one tile at a time by yourself? Solitaire. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a game of solitaire. The key is that you need to put blinders on and play for one player at a time. Try not to think about the tiles in the other player's hands when you make decisions for that one player. Compartmentalize. That's how you're going to practice decision making in the pick and discard phase of the game. One option that you have to play solitaire is to set up for a normal game and then act as each player. I think you get the idea. I'm already sweating. Let me show you another way to do it. Another way that you can set up a game of solitaire is by putting the racks one in front of the other so that you don't have to walk around the table. Player one, player two, player three, player four. This can be challenging, especially during the Charleston. That's where this comes in. There's a link below the video to where you can get this or make one yourself. This will help us keep track of the Charleston passes. So using that with the rack set up like this, you can follow the flow and not mess yourself up. Another thing that you want to do is use a die to track whose turn it is. Because trust me, you're gonna forget and wreck your game. Use this to track whose turn it is. You can either leave the tiles on the table randomly and just create your drawn hands from the random tiles and pick and discard from random tiles. I like to build my tiles into walls. The next thing you would do is deal the tiles to the players. Player one gets 14, player two, three, and four will get 13 each. So that you can see the game, I'm going to put these racks on risers. That way 
the tiles will be clearly separated and you'll be able to have a better view of the different players' hands than if they're just lined out like this, one in front of the other. If you're doing this by yourself, this is a fine arrangement. My racks are now on risers. These are basically tile cases from a set. You can get these at Gammon Village. I just stack them on top of each other. Since they're fabric covered, they don't slip and slide. There's a link below the video if you want to get them. So here we go. We're going to play solitaire now. I'm going to deal the tiles. 14 to the player one or east. 13 to player two, three, and four or south, west, and north. You're going to want to remember that east, south, west, north, because that's how they're explained on here. East, south, west, north, east, south, west, north. Make sure everybody has all their tiles before you start. We're going to look at each player's hand. We'll start with East. For East, we have a pair of threes and a pair of eights. You can't use them both. So we need to look at the rest of our tiles and see what we have the most of around one of those multiples. I think I need to turn this. There we go. Okay, we could play three, six, nine, in which case we would have one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, maybe the south, because there is a three, six, nine with news. We have no flowers though, and that's only one hand. I think we're better off to play consecutive run. Six, seven, eight, nine. There are far more tiles for consecutive run, which makes sense if you think about it, since there are three suits numbered one through nine. So I'm not surprised. Now there are some mixed suit options with dragons. Let's keep the dragon. There is a news hand. Let's keep the south. Let's pass one of each suit and break up the three right now. So for player one, we're going to play consecutive run and I've identified a pass. Now we're going to look at the hand for player two. Player two has lots of jokers and a pair of ones. They do have a north. I was thinking maybe they could play a quint. Like numbers with dragons. Second hand down under quints. Quints of ones in two suits with the dragon for the third suit. As an option, let's keep the north. We could maybe play like numbers. There are two hands in the like number category. We need to make a pass out of these. So we've got quints or like numbers. So let's pass those three. Or maybe, yeah, those three. And now we can look at the hand for this player. Now, while you're making your decisions, compartmentalize. When I focused on this hand, I paid no attention down here. As you can see, there's a one dot and a one crack, but you've got to focus here only. Don't even think about what's going on here or you'll skew the results of your solitaire game. Train your mind to compartmentalize. For player three or west, 
we have a pair of twos and a pair of sevens. Those multiples don't go together. That happens often. You just need to look at the rest of your tiles and pick a category that uses the most of the tiles with whichever multiple works with those tiles. So here we have almost a block of news. I think we should play a news hand, maybe around the two or around the seven. We could play like numbers with news. We even have a flower and we have two sevens. That would use one of the multiples and news. So we could maybe pass those three. I think that's a good plan. Like numbers. Let's look at this player's hand now. No multiples. Four, three in each suit. This happens all the time. So what do you do when this happens? You look through your tiles and compare them to the categories on the card systematically and figure out which category can use the most of your tiles. In this case, I'm thinking six, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Some mixed suit opportunities in consecutive run use dragons. Process of elimination will reveal your discards. That's a little risky. One, two, three, but at least they're mixed suits. Okay, now. Each player has made their initial decisions and picked their first pass. This is when we use this solitaire helper and follow the arrows, the flow of the Charleston in the solitaire setup. North passes to east. So you're gonna take those tiles, turn them upside down and put them on east rack. East passes to south south to west and then west to north so now each player has their tiles we're going to look at each one individually we're looking here for six seven eight nine we didn't get any keepers this pass is coincidentally the same consecutive run one two three we're just going to pass them along let's look at this player's One, we got a one. Like numbers with ones or a quint. Let's pass those three. Maybe, man, yeah, it doesn't. Oh, this probably would be better. Two, four, and then a nine. We're looking for news with sevens. News with sevens, that, those are not helpful. We can just pass those along. Maybe, yeah, I think I would do that. I was thinking about switching this out and making that a little bit better by passing an even and an odd, but now we're left with like numbers. If we get a perfect pass, that's what we'd have to pass next. Always try to think about what is in your next pass. In this case, it doesn't really matter because we have a pair too. We'll talk about pairs later in the strategy playlist because this can be used to maybe get a joker in the pick and discard phase of the game. That's called joker bait. Look for that in the strategy videos. Let's look at North. We're looking for six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. We got an eight, so we're gonna keep it. Do not focus on what hand you're gonna play. Just focus on the category and gather tiles for that category. That's called an adaptive style. 
and it gives you the greatest flexibility as compared to picking a single hand, like here. We're playing news with sevens. Here, we're between a quint and news with ones. Here, we're playing consecutive run category. We haven't picked a hand. So right now, these three are adaptive. This one is fixed. All we're looking for is a north and sevens. But these were gathering, gathering options. All right, so here we developed a multiple. Anytime you develop a multiple, reassess. In this case, clearly we have five, six, seven, eight consecutive run going. But we developed the multiple. Multiples usually have the greatest strength. If we reassess and build around this multiple, because it's the only one we have now, maybe we could play something consecutive around the three, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, instead of five, six, seven, eight, because we have the multiple. Let's gather three, four, five, six, and pass those three. So we did the first right. Now we're going to go across. So flip it, east and west pass. Then south and north pass. Let's see what happens. Seven, eight, nine, there's an eight. And we have tiles to pass. Doesn't really matter there. Let's pass those three. Six, seven, eight, nine, maybe the dragons. Let's see now what we can do for south. We got a one. Since it's a like number, we're gonna keep it. And we have tiles to pass. Let's see what we can do for West. We're looking for sevens. Those were not helpful. Let's break that up a little bit, split out our pair so we're not left with a pair if we happen to get what we need. There's like numbers, we wanna split that out. Two, three, eight. Either way, we're gonna be left with like numbers or a pair. Let's keep the twos for joker bait. You can find information about joker bait in one of the strategy videos. Let's look at north. We're looking for three, four, five, six. Here's a four and a two. And now I'm seeing a little bit of a two, four, six, eight pattern. Six, four, six, two, four, six, eight. Three, six. There's maybe even a three, six, nine now that we have a nine. We're gonna have to count. All building around the three crack. We have one, two, three, four, five, six for three, six, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for three, four, five, six mixed suit. Not picking a hand, focused on the category consecutive run is stronger. We could even do two, three, four, five, and drop the sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six, versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's give up a two. So we'll pass those. So just use a process of elimination to identify a pass. Don't pick a hand because we have discards. Sometimes you'll have to pick a hand to come up with the discard. In this case, we can still stay at the category level. I just wanna look at the three, six, nine hands really quick. Refer to your card so that you're making the right choice. The three, six, nine hands that I'm looking at for the tiles that we have, 
We have no flowers in the wrong nine. So I think we should go ahead and pass these, give up the nine bam. So we did across. The next pass is first left. We're going to pass fully. You can pass blind on the first left. So if let's say I wanted to pass one blind. East passes to north. So I would pass these two. And for my incoming pass, I would take one and move it along. Don't look at it. And that's how you would pass blind. In this case, we're going to pass them all. East passes to north. North passes to west. West to south and south to east. Here we go. We got a seven and an eight. And we have a pair. We got the pair back. Okay, clearly we have way more six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to pass one of those and we now have to make a choice here. So we're going to look at this category for consecutive run, mixed suits. We don't have enough of one suit to play a one suit option. So just look at the mixed suit options here. We have no flowers, but we do have a joker. I'm thinking we could do five, six, seven, eight, or eight, nine, dragon, eight, nine. We don't have a white dragon though. It's opposite or the same. Seven, eight, dragon. Let's give up the nine and the green. This should give us some options. We could even maybe play like numbers with eights. We have all the eights. Okay, we're going to pass those. Let's look at south. One. That's going to help with like numbers. At this point, I think we could focus on the like number quint. One bam, one crack, white dragon. Let's give up the one because we could still play like numbers with news using these two. Only two Kongs of ones would be needed. Let's look at West. We're looking for sevens. We developed twos. This now is stronger than this. Twos. Like numbers though uses two pungs, so we only need two. Let's go ahead and break that up and switch to twos. Okay, now we're going to look at north. We got a five. We've got two tiles to pass. This is when you pick a hand, when you run out of discards. So we need to come up with another tile. And we only need to come up with one tile so we can figure out what we want to do with the most of these tiles and whittle it down to release one more tile to pass. So I'm thinking we have a three, five. We want to build around these three, five. There is some 135 under odds. One bam, three crack, five bam, dragon. These two match. That is one option. Or we could do something with focused on four, five, six. Four, five, six four, five, six, if we can get the white dragon. That's a gap though. I think I'd like to keep the five and maybe switch to 
little odds. One, three, five. For an option, let's keep the four, six. And the four dot for something mixed. And that gives us tossed pass. So we're in between consecutive run and one, three, five odds. So next, we're going to do second left. Any player can stop the Charleston here. In this case, we want to keep going. So east passes to north again. North to west, west to south, south to east. We got a keeper, an eight. Maybe we could have them play like numbers with eights. We have tiles to pass. Let's give up the red dragon so we can pass defensively. Eight crack, eight bam. If we can get a white dragon, we could play maybe even a quint or like numbers. We need flowers though. All right, let's just keep going. Try not to fret about picking a hand. Be patient because it will reveal itself eventually. We're going to stay at the category level. No ones or white dragons, so we'll pass those. We need twos. Here's a south, which is not helpful. Let's break this up so we can have some tiles for our next pass. And we can pass those. Let's see what we can do with north. Here's a three. So now we have one, three, three, five, three, four, five, six. There's a dragon. Here's tiles to pass. Let's focus on these. As soon as you find tiles to pass, stop what you're doing here because the next pass could change it all. It'll be wasted effort. The, I, the idea here is to find a pass. And that's a good way to move the Charleston along. The players with you at the table will be grateful. So we did second left. Now we're going across. East and west will pass. South and north will pass. I hope I got All right, here we go. <gasps> Seven. And tiles to pass. We still don't have to pick a hand. We're focused on six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight, or just six, seven, eight, or just seven, eight. We got options. Let's see what we can do with south. No keepers. We'll just pass those along. No keepers. We're looking for twos with news. Let's pass those three. That's a really good pass. This is a little risky. One, three. Okay, here we go. No keepers. Now, we're going to go to the next one. Last right. North passes to east. East to south. South to west. West to north. We got a seven. An eight. And a nine. Look at that. Six, seven, eight, nine. We need to pick a hand. Here we have, let's see, seven, eight, nine. We've got lots of options here. Six, seven, eight, nine. Here's an eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, eight. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, 
or seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, six, nine. Do we have six, nine, six, nine, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm thinking the second hand or third hand down, we have no flowers. Six, seven, eight, nine. We could do six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. The first five, six, seven, eight, nine, we're missing a five. Or we could do six, seven, eight, nine, and two suits. We used all of these. We didn't use these. Let's pass two. We'll pass one blind in the optional cross. And that gives us options. So we still don't have a hand. We've got maybe the first three, one of the first three. So we're whittling it down. Let's see what we can do for south. We got a south. If we play like numbers with news, that's coming in. That would be the second hand under like numbers. That's a concealed hand. So we would have to draw these ourselves. Oh, down here. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. We needed twos. We did pick up sixes though. Okay, these are discards. Next north we got a three and a one we have a seven maybe the green we need to pick a hand because we only have one discard so let's see if we have something mixed suit with either little odds one three five actually i think that's what we should do one three five little odds there are some mixed suit options there One, three, three, five, one, three, three, five, mix suit, second hand down. One, or one, three, five with Let's see here, there's no matching dragons. Yeah, one, three, five with matching dragons. I think I would just keep all these and stick with little odds and pass those. We did last right. Now we're doing the optional cross. I think we should pass two there. So here will be an example of the negotiation. East and west will pass. Oh, I forgot to pick a pass. Let's pass those three. So east and west are going to pass, but east only wants two. Therefore, west can only pass two. Lowest common denominator. South and north pass, same thing. They only want to pass two. So north can only pass two. We're done with the Charleston. This can go away. We got a nine and a four. That's what we'll discard first. No keepers. No keepers. We got a three. We have at least one discard before we have to pick a hand. Stay flexible, category level. Now, we're done with the Charleston. We have everybody in a category, at least one, consecutive run. Quint or like numbers, like numbers, odds, one, three, five. We're gonna start by having East discard, and this is when you wanna start using the die. It's East turn, so the die is on the East rack. We're going to discard this in a row and we'll go eight across and then we'll come down. And that's just a way to make it easy for you to 
scout the discards for training. When you play in a real game with other players, you just discard them randomly. But when you play solitaire, discard them in a row. So now that East discarded, they have the same number of tiles as everybody else. And we're going to now look and see if anybody wants the four. In this case, nobody can take it. So we're going to draw. We got an eight bam, which we don't want. We don't want any of these tiles here. We're looking for ones. So let's go ahead and just discard the four bam. And you're just going to put it right next to the other discard. And it's now this player's turn, if nobody wants the four. And they don't, so we're going to draw. Flower, well that's helpful. For the like numbers with twos and news, we need a pair of flowers. Let's discard the red dragon. Nobody can take the red, so we're going to draw for north. Two bam. Little odds can turn into consecutive run using one, two, three. Let's keep the two and discard the six bam. Maybe that red could come in handy. We're going to now look and see if anybody can take the six bam. We don't know what hand we're playing, and you can't call for a tile to complete a pair. You have to build the pairs yourself. So we can't take that anyway. Even if we were to use this to make a pung, we don't even know what hand we're playing. I would not do that. We're going to draw. Three crack. That is a discard for this player. And nobody can take a three crack. Now this player technically could. Let's look and see if there is a clear direction for them. They could play one, three, three, five in two suits, but they have a gap with no one crack. I would not do that. I would rather stay concealed than commit with a gap. We're going to keep going. So we're going to draw. Red dragon. That's already been discarded. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw four west. Eight dot. There is a multiple. Now we're collecting twos, but let's hold that. Maybe we can get a joker out of it. Let's discard the six crack. And now we're going to draw four north. Okay, they finally got a flower. That might help. So let's look and see what the options are for 135 with a flower. There's one option in mixed suits, and it requires a dragon. And we have a three, we have a five, and a one. We can either do one, three, five, dragon. So dot, dot, crack, crack, because that dragon corresponds, or we could do one, three, five, green. So let's go ahead and keep these and discard the two bam. We've gone through two rounds of discards. We're going to now start discarding below the first row of eight. Let's draw for east. Three crack. Drawing. Okay, up here. One, three, five with dragons. We need a pung. Let's pung. So I'm going to put that up here so you can see it. We're skipping. We're going to skip two players. We're going to pung it and commit to that hand. We have options with the one and the five, and we have a joker. Let's discard the three dot. Nobody can take the three dot, so we're going to draw for east. Seven dot. <laughs> wow, look at that. Seven, 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 eight, 
seven, eight. Six, seven, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's get rid of the nine dot. Still staying flexible. No clear direction yet. Let's draw. Three dot. We can discard that. Drawing for west. Six crack. North. One dot. Okay, now we need five dots. And this red dragon, we need a pung. There are two out, so we're going to need another joker. Let's go ahead and discard the five bam. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw for east. Seven. Seven, eight. I think maybe we should switch them to like numbers with sevens. Let's discard the six bam. Maybe we can get jokers out of those. Let's draw here. Five dot. We can discard that. This player needs it, but they don't have the tiles for it. They need a pung. They need a pung of five dots, but they only have one joker, so they can't take it. Let's draw. Five dot. That was just discarded, so let's discard. Now they're in a pickle. That's why you don't want to commit early. We probably committed too early there. This is one of the lessons that you can learn by doing this exercise. Joker. Well, that's helpful. Let's get rid of the five bam. And now we're going to draw for east. Two crack. This player needs it, but they're not ready. We're going to draw. Eight dot. Drawing for west. Nine crack. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw for north. Two crack. That's a problem. We need a pung. Our kong, actually. Let's draw. Five bam. We're going to draw four south. Four bam. Drawing for west. Okay, there's a multiple. Now, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. All those two cracks are out. What if we switch to something consecutive? There is a six, seven, eight with news. Six, seven, eight with news. Let's discard the two crack. We would need two jokers to make that happen. And we have none. We're going to switch to six, seven, eight with news. Or we could do six, seven, or seven, eight with flowers if we can get a white dragon. Let's draw. Now we are going into the third wall. We've had lots of discards. You can kind of scout the discards to see what is out as you make your decisions. Five crack. You know what we could do? is switch to the two suit option. One, three in dots, three, five in cracks. Let's keep the five and the red and discard the green dragon. All hope is not lost here. Drawing now for east. Joker. Okay, now there are two eight, uh, there's an eight dot out. So, six, seven, eight, nine. So, seven, eight. Seven, eight. There are no hands that use seven, eight, seven, eight. Let's discard this eight dot and draw four south. 
they got a north. There is a hand that uses north and south with pairs, but we have a gap, no one dot. Let's discard the seven crack. Now, this player needs to decide, because here's a seven. All right, seven, they have all the sevens. There is the Kong hand under like numbers that they can call for, but they have a gap of no flower. Seven, eight. They have no sixes. I think we should Kong it if they're going to have any hope of winning. Sevens. And we need a flower badly. Let's discard the nine bam. Okay, they're getting painted into a corner here by choice. Let's see what happens. We're going to draw west. Okay, news with like numbers maybe. We have no flowers though. Let's discard this eight bam. Four crack. Seven bam. Drawing for east. Seven bam was discarded. Let's Kong. This is getting really risky, but that's their only choice. Let's discard the eight bam. Now this joker is available for taking. We need flowers. Let's draw. Four crack. Drawing for west. East. We don't need pairs, we need singles. Let's discard the east. Nobody wants it, we're gonna draw. West. Drawing for east. Six crack. Drawing for south. Nine crack, we want one cracks. And we need that east. You can't claim a discard for a single tile. You have to draw it yourself, at least until you're ready to win. Let's draw. Two bam. Nobody needs it, we're gonna draw. White dragon, not helpful. Let's discard it now. It's a valuable tile, get rid of it if you're not gonna use it. Nobody can take it. This player though, can consider it. There is, let's see, the quint. If they use this joker for that quint, these for that particular dragon, they would have no other jokers to work with and they would commit to the quint. That would leave four discards because they don't use any wins and they would need more jokers. If instead we played news with ones, we have a gap of no flowers and we have all the ones we need. So we have to make a choice right now. Do we want to force a quint or go with a gap? I think we should go ahead and force the quint because there's no gaps. So we need to get rid of all these winds north. And it's this player's turn. News, single tiles. You cannot claim a discard for news. We have to draw. Two crack. The two crack came in. That's crazy. Here we go, drawing. Eight crack. This player's playing sevens. We need a flower. White dragon, exchange. They still need a flower. Looking better though. Let's discard the eight bam. Through an eight bam, we're gonna draw now for south. Eight bam. Drawing for west. Three bam, don't need it. 
up here. That's joker bait, nobody wanted it. That's not gonna work out. So we're gonna draw. Six bam, that's been thrown too. Scout the discards, throw defensively if you can. We're gonna draw four east. We need flowers, green dragon. Nobody wants it, we're gonna draw. Nine dot, we need we need a one crack or jokers. Nobody can take a nine dot, we're gonna draw. Three bam, Un unwanted tile. Drawing for north, nine bam. These are safe at this point. Sometimes it's good to hold safe tiles because we're heading into the third wall. We have one more wall to pick through. Six dot discard. Drawing four south. Five crack. We don't need it. Five crack. This player can take it. Kong. And they're left with a gap. I think I would not take it. I would rather play the knitted hand, which is the fifth hand down and it has no gaps. Wait, we have, we need five dots. There is a gap. If we take the five crack and play the second hand down, we would have a big gap with no three dot. Let's not take it. We're gonna draw four west. Two bam. The twos ended up coming in for them. Drawing up here. Red. One, five, red. So these are the five dots. We need a pung of five dots and a pung of reds and then a pair. So this came in. Good thing we didn't take that five. This is one of those benefits to playing solitaire. You can see how your decisions make an impact, like a chain reaction. Let's discard the five crack. We need five dots here. Let's draw four crack. Drawing four south, seven dot, nope. We're gonna Kong. Clearly this player is playing like numbers and we have no flowers. Surely we'll draw one, eight crack. Sometimes flowers are hard to come by. Let's draw three dot, don't need it. You always wanna look at exposures to see if you can maybe snag a joker. We're gonna draw here. Four dot. This player has two jokers. Maybe we could switch them to a two, four, six, eight hand and use these to take the jokers. Let's do it. Two jokers right there. There's still a joker in their hand. If any hand ends up with all the same natural tiles, all natural tiles, that's called jokerless and it's double the value of the hand. So here there's one more joker, and this player switched to 2468. Capitalizing on those jokers, 2468. Let's see if there's a 2468 with flowers in one suit. There is, third one down, four flowers, pair, pair, pung, pung. Okay, four, 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 we need to discard a south. Okay, well now they're looking real good. Those go away. We need pair, pair, pung, pung. Now there are two eight dots out, so really we're gonna need to use that joker there. And there's one six dot out. So we've got work to do. Let's draw. Three dot, we need five dots, discard. Drawing four 
east. Five dot, don't need it. Five dot, pung. Discard, three ban. They need to pung, pair. Drawing for east. Five dot, exchange. They don't need it though. They need a flower. We're not gonna exchange it. We're just gonna discard. That's gonna announce that we need a pair. So everybody now is gonna know that we don't have a flower. So be careful when you do that. Let's draw north. Nobody wants wins, so those are all safe. Drawing for west. Six dot. Now we can use this for the eight and discard the west. We need to Kong here, pair, pair, pung, pung. Drawing one crack, don't need it. Down here, we can't take it. We're playing a quint, we don't have enough. Drawing for east, one crack, discard. They need two jokers now, actually three. There's a flower. Let's discard the north. I don't think there's anything that they can do at this point. They may need to switch to defense. That quint looked so promising. Let's draw. Nine crack. Drawing for north, south. We're now into the last wall. Everybody should check out how many discards they have and decide if they want to push to win or fold. This player has a gap of no flowers, but one flower and they'll be ready to win. This player needs at least three jokers. They should probably switch to defense. This player is two away and set. They can claim a discard here and here and be ready to win here. This player is set. They can pung, be ready here. This player should fold, probably. There's more about strategy by wall in the strategy playlist. We're going to draw for east. We need a flower. No. Four dot. That's the first four dot. Drawing four south, six dot. We're going to go ahead and call it. I probably should have discarded those wins, but eventually I would have needed to get rid of that. Let's discard the east. So get rid of your discards as early as you can, especially if they're risky like that. There was one out. Let's draw. One bam, discard. Let's go ahead and quint. Maybe we'll get jokers. Let's discard the west. Drawing for this player. Flower. They got their flower. We're going to discard a two dot. And they're ready to win on a four dot. Drawing for north. Bam. Drawing for east. We need a flower. One dot. Bummer. One dot. Drawing for this player. We need jokers. Five bam. No jokers available. There's one here, I think, and one here, but that would make this hand jokerless. Leave one joker in an exposure so you don't make their hand jokerless. Let's draw nine crack. North, safe. Ha! <laughs> Pachinko. Four crack. East. 
We need a four dot. Oh, wrong suit. Four bam. We need five dot or a flower. Green dragon. Flower, please. Six crack. Not a single flower. Drawing for south. Four dot. Let's discard the north. There are, there's one four dot out. Let's draw. Flower. Maybe we could have them push for jokerless. Let's discard a, drag, a joker. When you discard a joker, you say same, and it's whatever was previously discarded. So this would be like a north, but you can never pick up a joker. So saying same is part of the game. Let's draw. Joker. They can use that for the red. They're ready on a flower. Discarding the three band. Ready on a flower, ready on a four dot. Need jokers, need a flower. South. Drawing for south. Six bam. Drawing for west. Nine dot. Drawing for north. East. Drawing for east. Nine dot. South. West. Drawing for west. Another flower. Ooh. One, two, three, four. It doesn't matter what the numbers are, but it sure looks pretty. Discard. Flower. They're ready to win. So I would discard it, even if it's risky. That is Mahjong for North. Pair of flowers. One dot in a pung, three crack in a pung, five dot in a pung. And then a pung of red. This is a knitted hand, pair of flowers, one dot, three crack knitted in, five dot matching the one dot, and then a red dragon matching the knitted three. One, five in dots, three crack with matching dragon, one, three, five. That would be the fifth hand down. This player was ready on a four dot. This player could not get enough jokers. Even though they started out with three, they couldn't pair up in time. This player could not get their hands on a flower. This form of solitaire is a great way to practice decision making for a four player game. If you have a set of tiles at home, give it a try and let me know if it helps your decision making. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.